Greetings and welcome to Tell It To Someone, the only show where it's back to the old vest. It doesn't do up, so... Well, it does, but it's a bit stretchy and it's too small. First question is from uh, Nish Brown. Would you agree with that? Insert five seconds of wind noise here. Is the right thing to do. Well, obviously, I thought inserting five seconds of wind noise there was the right thing to do because I inserted five minutes of wind noise there. It's it's part of the uh, ongoing narrative of the uh, series. Next question is from um, Jesus Fiat Babies. Hey DT, can you randomly say my YouTube name just so I uh, I can hear you say it? Okay. Jesus Fingered Babies. Uh, JT of Next Jexter 2 uh, has the next question for me. Uh, how do you manage to get the uh, hairless parts of your head so shiny? Is Vegemite involved? Well, well, while Vegemite is a very good uh, uh, for, uh, source of vitamin B, um, that's not what I use because it will make me black and uh, you know, black faces so. 1878 to 1946. So, um, what I do is I sweat a lot, or I stand in the rain. Today I'm standing in the rain, but I'm not sweating at all because it's cold and wet. Next question is from uh, Fearfully for a fall. Um, if Autobots were evil and Decepticons were good, would Starscream still be a whiny, screaming butch? Batch. Batch. Uh, botch. You sensitive to the vowel! I don't know what you mean! Not answering. Pre-Kangley and Lullaby asks, What's, what is the best place to get a bagel in Australia? Have you ever had a US bagel? How do Aussie bagels pair up? Um, am I better off not going to Australia for a bagel? Well, we don't have many bagels in Australia. Most of them are in the more Jewish suburbs, um, in the special, uh, in, in special uh, bread shops there. But we don't, normally we just don't have many bagels. They just don't sell all that well. I mean, I had I had bagels in London, and they were sort of you know like they were just bread. They boil it or something, and I put bacon and eggs in it. I mean, you know, just because I had a bagel doesn't mean I had to keep it kosher. I mean, so I'm I'm. I'm you know, you're having a, a bacon sandwich on a bagel. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's that, does that mean I'm anti-Semitical? Because, you know, bagels are like kosher and like Jewish and stuff. I'm in a mythical dilemma and I'm slowing down the pace dramatically. And I can't find the next question. Oh, there it is. Will you answer my question on the show? Will you ever answer my question uh, on, on the show? Well, let's see. Um, serious mind who just asked that question. Um, he also asks, Michelle Buckman, the, a bad idea or the worst idea? Well, it, that depends on what, uh, on what um, you know, um, side of things you are on. If you want to see America um, fall into the depths of um, decay, then Michelle Beckman might not be a bad idea at all. And if you are a comedian who's just a bit too lazy, Michelle Beckman is an excellent idea. But he can still get all those Michelle Beckman jokes out, even if she's just in Congress and speaking on behalf of the Tea Party. Well, with the specific group of Tea Party that gives her money to say stuff because there's like 20 different Tea Party groups out there 
and they're all you know they've all got different slightly different agendas well different agendas meaning different corporate backers who are um, who are all looking after their own slightly different interests and the last question is from California Sun he's back and I have to do this I have a technical question for you. I'm having some computer problems at the moment uh, and I'd really like to know if you think I should shoot it or burn it. Mind you, I've already uh, uh, beat on it and kicked it quite, uh, quite severely and still nothing. And in answer to your tough question, question, everybody wins with Dangerously Talented. Okay, um, first you've got to get that brown off your nose. Um, actually, I'm inside your computer at the moment and um, let's, I'll, I'll see if I can see what I can do here. Right, cowboys in here. Oh dear, this is the right computer. It's very hard to tell one computer from the other. If it's your computer, can you just um, put your hand up? There we go. Oh. Right. Okay, and I'll make that adjustment there. Uh, uh, hang on, um... There's your problem. Cool and duck, sir. Alright, well, uh... Yeah, that's um, should be okay if I just do this one more adjustment. No, no, no. Oh, uh, and there we go. And that's it for tell someone for this week. If you would like to ask me questions, then ask me questions. Here's your dovetail question. Um, so you know, it 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 sort of prompts people to ask more questions and answer this question and gets people typing into the computer even though I, I completely disregard the dovetail questions apart from when people um, brown nose me. Dovetail question still up and now it's gone. I'm dangerously talented and I don't have a cool sign off button.